guys, welcome back to the Love in Dubai show. Today's guests are Siley Salvi and Kyle from Decisive Zone back in studio to talk about why the UAE has become such a hotspot for businesses and entrepreneurs around the world. We're also going to deep dive into free zones in the UAE and answer any questions you might have. Welcome, guys, to the show. Thank you so much for being here on a Tuesday Thank morning. You. Good morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's great to have Decisive Zone back in the studio. Today, we're asking you why are so many businesses choosing to set up in the UAE? UAE, what is unique about the UAE's uh, uh, ecosphere in comparison to other countries around the world? Uh, honestly, the fact that it is tax friendly, I would say. If you compare to the other countries, here in UAE, you have zero income tax. And uh, there are taxes, I wouldn't say that it's completely tax free. Like you have 9% corporate tax and 5% value added tax compared to other part of the world, which is like mm. very less. Mm. And also add to that fact that There are many um, global uh, hubs here in the UAE, especially for networking events and such that connects various entrepreneurs and investors alike that are happening almost every month in the country, which is a perfect way to find potential investors and collaborators. See, again, if you see all the European countries, the number of tax that like the percentage of tax that they pay is more than 40%. But here, if you compare, 9% is the corporate tax, Mm -hmm. which is like very less. And for small businesses? So basically, um, we have uh, consultants like ourselves to carefully Um, explain to our clients how to ensure that they get the most benefits of setting up the businesses here. So it's either only 0% or 9% corporate taxes, depending on your annual net profit. So there are value thresholds, but it's no more less than no more or less than 9%. So any trade that has to happen towards mm-hmm. the West, towards from the Indian side or anything like, because we are placed in a location like this, it becomes very convenient. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people who wants to deal into the European market, they set up a business here in UA. I mean, the Indians, Asians. Yeah. And when you have to select a free zone, I would say it completely depends upon the requirements that you have for your business. So it would be like something like the activity that you choose for your business or the number of visas that you want. Because not every free zone would have the activity that you're looking for. Certain free zones are specifically for certain activities only. Like you see, the name itself explains it, like production city, if you talk about, you talk about media city. So there are different free zones that specialize on certain things. Mm-hmm. So depending upon your requirements, you can choose which free zone you want to go ahead with. And to, to, to add on top of that, this is where uh, consultants like us exist because uh, navigating the UAE in terms of your next uh, business location is quite daunting, confusing and overwhelming at the same time with a lot of information. and possibly rumors around that you can find on the internet or from hearsay. So basically, us consultants, we provide um, narrow description into everything. We always ask questions towards our clients or entrepreneurs. Well, prior to 2022, if you are opting to go with the mainland um, jurisdiction and you're planning to go for a commercial activity or trading activity sometimes, Uh, you would have to go to the 51% and 49% uh, split between an expatriate and a local uh, sponsor or a local partner. Um, Are there benefits in place uh, in logistics or tech to help companies kind of just operate better? See, when we look at tech also, uh, there are so many events like uh, Kyle said that are happening, networking events right now. Like uh, just I think last month Mm -hmm. we had Jitex and things like that, where global like tech giants were there Mm -hmm. representing their companies and even they are moving to UAE. So I I believe like the environment is going to become more where they can foster, support each other Mm -hmm. and collaborate together and it would be helpful for the businesses. Yeah, and in in certain free zones, they are sometimes industry specific free zones. Like if you would look, for example, Dubai Healthcare City, Mm -hmm. so you would know from the get-go, what's the um, primary industry that's being set up on that area because they have state-of-the-art infrastructures which also provide logistics and trading companies alike. If if Dubai Healthcare City Free Zone makes sense for my business operations, Mm -hmm. do I still need to operate from there directly or can I choose to operate somewhere else in the city? So there are free zones that offer some sort of flexibility. Um, some free zones allow a no objection certificate for you to have a facility outside the free zone, but that is normally um, 
Uh, that really depends on the regulations from within free zones. It's each different free zones have their own um, different uh, yeah. regulations and such. So you can sometimes uh, get a facility outside of it, but most of the time you are only allowed to get the facility from within. And who runs the free zones? Are they all authority government led? Yes, they are. So uh, speaking of flexibility in free zones, uh, is that the same when it comes to office space and what's available in terms of visas or does that also depend on the free zone that you're choosing? Again, it depends upon the free zone that you're choosing. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you ask me, a lot of free zones in Dubai right now, they are giving flexi desk and spaces free along with the trade license. And a lot of other free zones are giving visas free. On that, you will select a free zone and you get a lot of other things with that. Yeah. Okay, amazing. I think we've uh, we've got the lowdown on free zones, but I just understand that it's quite an overwhelming... Um, it is, yeah. Uh, especially for new entrepreneurs, but we know uh, Decisive Zone and also the UAE is always there to help and guide new entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. um, which leads us into asking, like, how supportive would the UAE be towards new foreign investment? So for people watching who are potentially abroad, uh, what is the UAE doing to help foreign investment? Uh, see, there are so many initiatives that uh, even the government is taking, like if you want to set up your business, there are places where you can approach, like the visas are very easy to get here, okay? Mm -hmm. Not just that, if you're setting up a business, it's very easy to sponsor your family also. If you look at other countries, the paperwork and everything is going to be so hectic that you're going to spend years and years just figuring out things. But your, even the documentation, if you want to set up a business, what do you think? What documents would you require? It would be like very hectic, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's just your passport <laughs> copy that you need, a photocopy and the name that you need for your company. That's it. Mm -hmm. With this basic document, you can initiate the process to start your company. Mm -hmm. And once the company setup is done, we can initiate with your visa process. Once the visa process is done, we start with your bank account. and then you have everything in place to run your business. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> um, this is why Decisive Zone do make things that bit easier. It um, is, yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. So if my business grows and I want to hire more people, um, back a little bit into free zones, which setup, free zone or mainland, would give me more flexibility? Like, mm -hmm. are those the types of decisions I need to be thinking of early mm -hmm. on in terms of free zone? If you're on the former, on the other hand, Um, it's much better to do it in a free zone because even though it's much more limited in terms of granting you visas, it's still much cost effective in order for you to do so. I mean, you, regardless of your option, you can always expand to another business to further extend the network of your presence in the region. What are we talking in terms of numbers there, in terms of visas, um, <clears throat> mainland versus free zone? Um, normally, um, it's between six to seven visas for a free zone setup. Um, and if I want to expand my business to all Emirates, uh, would I have the freedom with a mainland <clears throat> setup in comparison to a free zone, or does that even matter? Um, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, you can open branches and subsidiaries all across the Emirate, as long as you have the proper documentations present that you can present to the um, Uh, related or respective authority in that specific jurisdiction that you're expanding to. Everything free zone. If you have any questions for Decisive Zone, how can they reach out to you guys? They can reach out to us. Our office is located in Bay Square Business Bay, and you can reach out to us on Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, uh, Kyle and Sally from Decisive Zone. Thank really you. appreciate your time this morning.